Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And I know the title of this video says March Favorites, but I also want to just say one other thing. This is my 100th video going up on this channel. So thank you guys for sticking with me for so long. Um, 100 videos is a lot. I've been doing YouTube for almost two years. It'll be two years in June. So as you all know, this is not my job. This is a hobby. Um, so 100 videos for me in that amount of time is pretty good. So I'm still enjoying it. So I'll still continue to make videos and I thank all of you who have been around since my very first uh, video, which wasn't that good, but <laughs> I leave it up for sentimental purposes. But thank you all for all of you who have stuck around, family, friends, and other random friends that I've now made through YouTube. Um, I just really want to thank you all for sticking around this long. Now, I'm going to go and go ahead and get into the purpose of this video because I do have quite a lot of favorites from this month. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start out with um, some face products. So the first one is this Buxom Show Some Skin Foundation. And I know I've mentioned this in a haul video before, but I never really gave you all a review on it. <sighs> I love this stuff. It's a lightweight foundation that does not give you much coverage, but it feels so good, good going on your skin. And it looks pretty nice as well. So... There are some cons to this, like if you have oily skin, you're probably not going to be a huge fan of this. But I actually wear this without even setting it with the powder most of the time when I wear it. So I did film a video that was showing you guys a demo and a review of this product, but it was all over the place, so I never posted it. So if y'all want to see that, let me know and I'll either redo it or I'll um, maybe post the one I've already done. So I'm in the shade Caramel Kisses. The other foundation I've really been enjoying this month is the YSL Youth Liberator Foundation. Again, um, I owe you guys some information on this one because I did a first impressions of it. And then I was supposed to do an update on my blog, but I haven't gotten around doing that yet. But for those of you who only watch my videos, I really do still like this foundation. It is not an everyday foundation for me though because it's just a little bit too dewy. But on days where I'm having dry skin issues, this is a definite go-to. Um, so the reason I've been liking both of these this month is because they're both relatively hydrating. And um, this one gives me more coverage, of course. This one gives me light coverage. But this month, my skin has been kind of out of whack because I was sick for like two weeks of this month. And so whenever I get sick, my skin gets tends to get dry and red and not my best look. So these have been a friend. Another item that I've really been enjoying this month is this Makeup Forever Blush. This is in the shade number 425. And I believe the name is called Rust Orange or something like that. Um, but it'll be, it'll be below. But anyway, this is just a natural kind of orangey, orangey bronzy blush that just looks so natural on my skin tone. But it still shows up, you know. Um... The reason I like these cream blushes is because they're pigmented, but they're not crazy pigmented. Like some cream blushes, you put them on a spot and you can't really blend it out. These blend out really easily and they look like they're just part of your skin. <laughs> so I really like that about them. I have a blog post on these blushes, so I'll put that down below. The other cheek product I've been enjoying this month is another blush. And this is by NARS. And this is the Final Cut Blush. And I, I've had this for quite a while now because initially when this came out, it was only exclusive to Nordstrom's. And so I got it then. Uh, but I never really mentioned it because, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't mention it, but <laughs> I love it. It's a really nice um, kind of peachy uh, tone. It kind of reminds me of my, of NARS Gilda, but this has a little bit more pink to it. Uh, whereas Gilda has a little bit more orange to it. So um, I think this is a blush that'll work for people of of wide variety of skin tones. It works on me even though it looks like it does not look ashy on my skin at all. So it works on me. It'll probably work for a couple shades darker than me and it should work for skin tones lighter than me as well. Another blush I've been loving this month <laughs> has been my uh, Mood Exposure Blush by Hourglass. Now this was the last one that I picked up. And 
I really like it. it it looks like a kind of a plummy color but when you wear it it kind of it's just one of those more natural colors it kind of has you can tell it has like some pink in it some brown in it, and some mauve in it so when you put it on your cheeks it just looks relatively natural it's um I've heard people compare it to what is it called Tarte Exposed but Exposed on me is way too light so this is like a deeper version of that I believe according to swatches I've seen and what I've seen on other people so if you're if you were interested in Tarte Exposed but thought it was too light for your skin tone this might be one that will work for you next up are a couple of eye products and these are both paint pots um, one of them is Stormy Pink which is kind of like a taupey gray color it reminds me a lot of Maybelline Toughest Taupe but this one has a lot more pinkish purple undertone to it whereas the um, Toughest Taupe is just more of a flat gray on my skin anyway so I've been liking this when I wear cool tone looks because it especially if I put like a like a gray tone purple on top of this it really brings it out um, so I've been enjoy enjoying that this month the other paint pot is laying low and this is more of a I guess it's like a tan color um, a skin tone color it's not my skin tone it's definitely lighter um, but I've just been using this almost every day as a base for my eyeshadow so I've had these for a while and I would just use them like when I'm going out or when I really want my eyeshadow to pop but lately I've been using them whenever I wear eyeshadow like even to go to work and this one in particular and what I like is that it just helps my eyeshadow to stay on longer like I wear primer every day but with this and the primer I just feel like I get the longest lasting color and the most vibrant color um, that I can so been enjoying those and I believe both of those are permanent don't quote me on that but you can check out Mac's website and see if you see them on there the other eye product I have is a mascara and this is their real by benefit and I only have the deluxe sample size that I got in a birthday gift from Sephora but I have really enjoyed this mascara I did a blog post on it so I'll let you got I'll link that down below but what I like about it is that it just gives me those like fake looking lashes pretty much like it really is a dramatic mascara and I accidentally left it open so it kind of dried out and it still works but it's not as good as it was before I accidentally left it open so I'm on a no buy right now so I can't really buy it again but I do plan on buying it after I use up all the rest of my mascaras <laughs> which I only have like two more to go so I will be purchasing at least a deluxe sample size again of this yeah next up are a couple lip products first one is this YSL glossy stain and if you read my blog and you'll know this is one of my new little addictions a dangerous addiction if I may add but what I like about it is it is a new color but it has that really pretty peach undertone that's like a more of a pinky peach and it really shows up on my lip color or on my skin tone and I just think it's really very flattering again I have a blog post on these so I will link that down below the other lip product I've really been enjoying this month is a balm and this is the Rev de Mille balm by Nux Paris yeah I don't speak French so I'll leave it down below so <laughs> but anyway this is just a balm a lip balm that I've been wearing morning and night or anytime I get a chance really like I said I've been having a lot of dry skin issues since I've been sick and along with that goes dry lips so I've been using this a lot during the day like when I when I called out sick and stuff so I've been loving this it's just really moisturizing and it's not I mean it's expensive for a lip balm but not overly so because you get a, a good amount of product and I think it was about $16 and I've seen it on like Gilt, um, G-I-L-T if you all use that website. I've seen it on there for 2 for 25 so after I use this up, you know, unless I want to try something different, then I'll do that 2 for 25 deal because that's a really good deal. But I just think this, this feels like it really moisturizes my lips instead of just sitting on top which is the problem I have with a lot of chapsticks. So I'm sorry my camera just cut off but what I was saying is that this um, really sinks into my lips and doesn't just sit on top so it's really cut down on like chapping and cracking of my lips um, this month so 
I am so happy with this purchase. This is probably my favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite thing because makeup is a lot more exciting, but this is the thing I've definitely used the most this month out of all my favorites. And then the last thing is another dry skin problem. <laughs> and this is um, Waxeline. So underneath it, it says the Petroleum Jelly Alternative. So this is basically just like a, like a creamy... It's almost like a creamy Vaseline is what it feels like. But like I said, it has no petroleum jelly. And basically what I do with this is, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells like honey. If, if you like the smell of honey, this smells really good. Beeswax is what's in here and some other stuff. But um, what I've been doing with this is at night, I'll put on like my regular lotion and then I'll put this on top on my feet and like my, my legs and feet are really dry. So I'll put this mainly on my feet, but if my legs are feeling particularly dry, I'll put it on my legs too. And it just really helps to lock in the moisture. I can definitely tell the difference when I wake up in the morning. And I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it was like $7 or something. And it's gonna last me forever because only using on those really dry areas. Witten, I don't use this during the day because it is very like greasy, but at night, that's fine with me. So anyway, uh, that is it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite part of, of the month was down below or if you do videos on YouTube and you did a favorites this month, then leave me a link to that down below as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.